Hello guys, Unknown Gamer here, and in today's video, issues with YouTube. And there's many issues with YouTube I can really talk about in this like community altogether. I mean, this is this topic is solely based off the drama alert with Leafy, and you know the YouTube community as a whole and how it's changed over time. And if you don't know Leafy, he's a YouTuber who hasn't been around for very long. You can search his channel up in, you know, in search bar, or whatever. But you know, he he, he was he was basically saying that, you know, YouTube's changed so much that we are completely censored to nearly everything. I mean, we're not allowed to swear in live videos and you know if you do they may not do as really well and, and that's a thing that drives me crazy I mean if that's the case it probably is obviously YouTube are trying to make it into a more advertiser friendly place and having a you know more mainstream type feel to it and which I don't like I, I like creators I, I want creators to be on this platform expressing their own opinions no matter if you agree or disagree but at the moment like YouTube is going towards one political side and like like the everything always has to involve politics that's the thing that pisses me off politics politics post politics just stop fucking bringing in politics if someone wants to search up politics on YouTube go you know fucking search that shit up but it feels like YouTube just going towards the, you know the left of you know but you know they should be really in the middle of all this it should really be suppressing people's thoughts and opinions and you know obviously with the apocalypse a lot of people blame PewDiePie but honestly no the Wall Street Journal really did start that off I mean I mean they started you know falsely you know telling people that you know PewDiePie is a racist and that's it and a lot of people fell for it like the the book writer of Harry Potter what was it what is she called fuck no I don't know I forgot her name <laughs> but again apocalypse have been really you know destructive you know into the community into the community many creators were affected by this like you know Boogie's Francis videos they got affected uh, uh, Mac Juggernaugus' videos, they got affected, and many more channels, there's many more that got affected by, you know, just by simply swearing in a video, or just being overall violent in a video. And what I think YouTube should do, either get a new creator, or the cre oh well, not the creator of YouTube, but you know, the get a new CEO, and get her out of, you know, the position and change it for someone else who doesn't mind, you know, freedom of speech. And, or, if the creator, CEO, <laughs> changes their mind, you know, she'll fix everything and understand why people are angry, but obviously this ain't gonna happen. I mean, it's gonna be impossible getting her out of her situation right now, but, I, it feels like they're just going towards one side of YouTube, you know, the promoting shows like Jimmy Kimmel and fucking Stephen Colbert and all them people and that's what I don't like, I just don't like YouTube's direction I just don't like just forcing political views back down from people's throats at times and it's just annoying and they're also suppressing people and, and demonetizing their videos basically saying them um, oh if you don't if you don't follow our rules and guidelines if you don't be a good boy on YouTube you're gonna be fucking you're gonna be homeless in the next week that's what it's basically like it's 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 fucked up and I wish they just changed for the good the better of people you know just I mean the thing that I didn't don't get is how can the comedians on TV get advertisements but YouTubers can't it's been that pissed me off, and I, well, why? And then obviously YouTube's are struggling to make money on the platform, and then they just, you know, you know, go to other means like you know streaming, and you know, relying on don donation, donations, and other things, and it's fucked up. And I'm thank God YouTube been kind of, 
you know, helping them out a bit, you know, they added this feature and where you can donate money and you can get benefits of it, but I heard a lot of people don't like it because it doesn't really bring anything what the, you know, people who paid for it do, you know, it doesn't bring anything to the table at all. And obviously, you know, there's other things to stop that, like Patreon and that stuff, but it feels like it's such a chore just to do that at times. It's just annoying that you need to just go to a separate website just to support your own creators. You should be able to support your own creators, like, you know, on the platform, not on some different website donating your money to shit. You should be just be watching a video and, and, and being the person who you are, know that they are, you know, getting money off advertisements. But obviously, YouTube just being lots of tight shits and just demonetizing the video, so you know, obviously, creators have to do you know any means necessary to get money at that point. And honestly, again, it's a political stuff. You know, it's it's a political landscape that they always follow, even though we didn't even want that on the platform to begin with. And it seems to be getting more and more political every day. And you know, politics basically makes the world run, but it also causes damage at the same time. And to me, this is really damaging because you know, now I've got to hear fucking beeps in some people's videos just swearing alone you know, at some points. So that's how bad it was as well. That you would add apocalypse, everyone kept on having to mute audio if they swore in a video, and it's just like, why? It's just a simple word, it's nothing to scar anyone. And obviously the next one is the community's just utter toxic all together, like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they're toxic people, I don't like them people. They just seem like scumbags who just don't care at all on what you think, they just go ahead and like the whole free, you know, forest situation. Now obviously that was fucked up to begin with, but you know, when YouTube Obviously, I talked about this in my last video. I think I forgot what which video I talked to, talked about it about. But obviously, PewDiePie only said the N word and basically got his YouTube series removed permanently. But <laughs> Logan Paul, wait ten months, the mood that the thinning is out, and that's the thing that really annoyed me the most. I mean, there's no, there's like, there's always a sense of, like, you know, which side to stay on. And that's what I hate about new YouTube. Old YouTube, you just got your opinions out there, you know, get paid for it if, you know, if, when you, if you're doing well. And, and basically, you get on with your life. But now, obviously, YouTube has got become so toxic that people are basically becoming poor off it and having to find jobs if they, you know, if they have a large fan base. Um, you know, it's just a messed up situation. And I just... It, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, guys, going to end the video here. And you know, if you enjoyed the video, you know, leave a like. You know, leave your thoughts and you know, pins in the comment section, and subscribe for more content. And guys, I'm serious. It's been great so far. The sub growth, sub growth has been amazing. Jesus Christ, I wasn't prepared for this recording at all. Fucking hell, I'm just slurring my words recently. But hell, see you in the next one.